so good morning ladies and gentlemen, uh, my name is Rokshinsky Maxim, I'm CEO and co-founder of Graph Census project. So uh, our project uh, aims to make a new step in the, uh, in the field of gas sensing. Nowadays metal oxide semiconductors gas sensors are uh, widely used for the gas analysis due to their low cost and ease of use, but also they have several disadvantages uh, such as uh, they require heating up to uh, high temperatures to operate, they operate only in the presence of oxygen, but the most important that they have a uh, really large cross, uh, cross reactivity and also have a narrow range of diagonal gases. And this fact drastically limits their potential applications in the field of uh, analysis of complex aromas, such as uh, odors of uh, various products. So our solution is to uh, make a new uh, step in the field of gas sensing on the base of multi-electrode chips covered with functionalized graphene. The use of these nanocarbon materials in combination with multi-electrode system allows to reach both high sensitivity and exceptional selectivity due to uh, combination with uh, software based on the neural uh, network which allows to recognize uh, gases or even odors. So this solution um, provides two free cost reduction of uh, the sensor, absence of the need in, in, in its heating, and also uh, substantially expands the range of diagnosed uh, gases and provides the opportunity to analyze complex odors such as distinguish the odors of coffee, tobacco, wine, and so on by a single chip, not an array of uh, metal oxide semiconductor chips. So currently we are launching the production, the developed multi-sensor chips and uh, to, uh, with the release with software package. Uh, the produced chips and software can be used in both the commercial, uh, already avail commercially available uh, and also designing uh, gas analytical devices, especially electronic noses. Uh, also uh, focusing on the needs of our customers, we also suggest a full range of turnkey work to integrate the supply chips uh, into the desired equipment as well as to customize them for the needs of our uh, potential customers. So uh, comparing with the commercial competitors, the design product demonstrates a number of advantages. Uh, first of all, it's a uh, high resistance to poisoning during operation, which is of high importance for the leak detection. Uh, secondly, as I already mentioned, it is a low power consumption and cost. And also the main advantage uh, is, of course, um, a large uh, number of diagnosed guises and uh, uh, the possibility of use of a single chip for the analysis of complex orders or for complex gas um, mixes to detect uh, one gaze, uh, gaze or maybe uh, even a complex order. So, um, the market, uh, the gas sensor market nowadays uh, showing active growth due, due to the increase in the uh, government initiatives and regulations of gas uh, environment analysis in various industries, especially mining, chemi uh, chemical and heavy industry. And the projected growth rate uh, of the industry is about 3.4% with uh, <coughs> an increase in the total market volume from more than $2.7 billion to $3.1 billion. Uh, well, our business model is based on uh, production and uh, supply <coughs> uh, by chips, um, by multi-sensor chips and software package, uh, the, gas, uh, the manufacturers of gas analytical equipment, particularly uh, the ones that develop uh, electronic noses, for which this is uh, the best choice our product is the best choice. We we'll run on the sales of multi-sensor chips, license on the software package and clean service and clean services such as installation, customization and uh, modification of our uh, chips. To be uh, Maxim, Maxim, one minute. Okay, uh, so <clears throat> I will be short on this uh, section then. Uh, well, for the, um, we will search our potential customers by the market analysis with subsequent contact building by emailing and personal meetings. Uh, the main uh, information on this slide is that um, the uh, sales cycle will be varied from five, uh, five months to a year, depending on the nature of the interaction. So is it turnkey development of the chip or it's just a uh, chip supply? Uh, our uh, team is presented by four key members and uh, 10 researchers from uh, with, have, uh, with extensive experience in the development of the innovation. 
uh, technologies. Currently, we have uh, developed key technical solutions. We are being uh, our, uh, we are being registered a um, Eurasian patent for our technology with two uh, additional uh, patents applications being prepared, and we have found first customers in uh, Russia. It's JC Radar MMS and uh, Need uh, Corporation. Okay, well, thank you. Good presentation. It's time. Yes, thank you. Okay, okay thank you very much. Uh, please, colleague, ask your questions. Don't hesitate. Hi, Ida Kostad here again from, from Vertical. Um, I'm curious as to why your team specifically is the right one to solve this problem. What, what, are, your, what are your backgrounds and, and unique, um, unique selling points there? So, uh, first of all, we uh, have uh, high experience in uh, uh, formation synthesis, synthesis of functionalized, uh, functionalized graphemes. One of, the, uh, one of the key points of these gas sensors, uh, and that's why, uh, why we have uh, we, we suppose that uh, we solve the, we will uh, solve the problem of the sensitivity and selectivity of the sensor. Uh, of us also, our um, chief research officer Victor Sosoyev have a great experience in gas sensing. He is a leading professor in uh, Saratov University. He, he has worked in uh, USA, in uh, Europe, in uh, Karlsruhe. Uh, uh, within the field of electronic noses and uh, gas sensors based on various materials. And now we are working for about uh, five years together on the base of uh, our, this uh, technology, what I'm speak uh, which I'm uh, demonstrating to you. So we have several, uh, major, uh, several science um, papers uh, in high... Uh, highly ranked journals, which demonstrate that our solutions uh, really works. And also uh, we have uh, that it, we have possibility to make a new step from a uh, technical solution to a commercial product. Carol here. Um, having had any discussions with the foreign companies um, as customers, and if you had any discussions, then what were um, learnings, for example? Uh, no, not yet. We just uh, we plan to contact with them, but uh, haven't uh, any um, negotiations with foreign uh, companies. And just we ha uh, we have some discussions with uh, with uh, a group from Karlsruhe uh, University, which is also <coughs> working on the same technology. But this is more collaboration than some um, commercial <coughs> negotiation. Yeah, well, I, I think I think you should ASAP to do it. Well, thank you.